assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am odoo technical developer if you haven't subscribed our channel odoo discussion please click this red button to subscribe our channel this means really a lot for me so let's uh, go to the topic uh, for today the topic is graph views uh, we will discuss how we can add graph views and we will also discuss about the different attribute of the graph view graph views uh, allow aggregated view overview and analysis of the records their root element is graph actually graph views uh, tree views and all the other views like uh, kanban views uh, again view all these views are used for uh, reporting purposes and analysis purposes if you have a lot of data and you want to analyze analyze uh, on the basis of different parameter you can use a, as these one of these type of views like graph view or pivot view or uh, tree view so uh, graph view has four display models uh, the default mode is selected using the type attribute on the um, graph tag first one is a bar a bar chart the first dimension is used to define the group on the horizontal axis other dimension define aggregated bars each within each group by default bars are sided by side by side they can staked by using uh, staked is equal to true so i will just explain this uh, later in this video that how you can use the type attribute and how you can use uh, the stake attribute on the graph view a uh, line two dimensional line chart uh, two dimensional pie chart these are different views that are available for a graph view so for example let me show you that how it looks in Odoo uh, if you go to the projects menu and here on the reporting menu click on the task analysis menu here you will uh, be able to see a view uh, like this this is actually the graph view of uh, the task view, uh, model so here uh, you can see the measure button and there are multiple parameters available to analyze this data and here these are the four displays that are available uh, by default the state is uh, true so it is uh, display is staked view if i click it will be uh, uh, it will be non staked view side by side views so it will show me the group uh, side by side for example for this user it will show it a, a separate bar and for this user it will show a separate bar this vertical will show the number of tasks so this will show the count uh, attribute and this is the second display which is line chart in line ch chart uh, the data can be displayed and analyzed using the lines and this is the pie chart which uh, many of the people uh, prefer to view the data in this format uh, like uh, this is very easy to analyze the data these are the different coloring uh, on the basis of the group that is added uh, inside the graph view so let me just uh, go here and uh, define some more parameter graph views contain field with a mandatory type attribute taking the values so you will have to add a field uh, with the uh, one of the field with the name type attribute the type must be defined for it the type will can be measure uh, for example in this case score type is equal to measure this will uh, show for example if i go to the bar chart view this will be shown here on the vertical side uh, and let's go down for today we have a task what is the task add a graph view in the sessions object uh, that we are going to develop and we are working on the uh, open academy module that display for each course the number of attendees uh, under the form of the bar chart we need to show here for example we need to show here uh, on the session model that how many attendees are uh, available for each course so we need to show it on the graph view so for adding the graph view first we will add a computed field 
to compute the number of attendees that are attending the session the computed field uh, should be sure stored true because if you don't make it a store true it will not be stored on the database if you, and if it did, does not store in the database then it will not be able it will not be displayed on the graph view so after that then we will add the relevant uh, view in uh, the model for example first of all i will have to co copy this code to add in uh, your py charm so let me open the open academy.py file here uh, at the bottom we have the uh, open academy that session so here uh, i have already added it so let me just paste it again and this is the attendees uh, count uh, this is the attendees count field uh, which is a fit in teacher type attendees count is the label kit attendees uh, count is the method uh, i have added the kit attendees method also so far as i have told before that uh, you must need to use a for loop in case of computed fields and here uh, we are going to assign the length of the attendee ids field so which means the count the number of people which are attending the session uh, i have added in the uh, api that depends attendee id so that whenever it changes the value should be updated automatically so uh, after that the next thing that we need to do is uh, to change the action of the open academy dot session so if we scroll down uh, we can see here open academy dot session action this is the open academy dot session action we need to add the graph uh, uh, key in the uh, um, view mode uh, take so this will just create a new uh, icon for the graph view after that we will uh, have to add the graph view which is uh, which i have added pre added here the graph view definition is uh, same as the other views the only difference is uh, the root element the root element is graph and this is the parameter yeah, so this is the sorry this is the label of the view and here we can add all these uh, parameters like let me show you with parameters like for example uh, bars if you want to show the it uh, staked then you can add this state true so this attribute can be added here which i will show you after sometime so this is the field that we added this will uh, group by the data on the basis of the courses so and this is the attendees uh, count that we have added recently and this will uh, this should be of type measure which will be shown on the vertical side so let me just restart the odoo service because we have added uh, a field inside the model and then go to the apps to upgrade the module so let's search for the app and then click the upgrade button to upgrade the module after the module upgrade we will be able to see the graph view uh, and we will be able to analyze the data on the um, graph view so different displays we, uh, display will be available on the graph view let's go to the open academy and then to the sessions menu here i have added some uh, sessions uh, to show you the data on the graph view so let me just uh, go here and here we can see the graph view icon let me click on it so we can see the graph view is grouped on the basis of the courses so this uh, course has six attendees and this course has 10 attendees so we can uh, view that uh, analyze the data using the different views like the line chart and the and the pie chart so uh, by default uh, the state is uh, selected if uh, you don't want to select it by default 
we can also add it uh, by adding the stage attribute uh, to false and after that upgrade the module to see the change so let's uh, go to the app store and then search for the module click the upgrade button to upgrade the module and after the module upgrade we will be able to see the change and uh, meanwhile we can discuss about the other change like the type we can also define the default type here also so let me go to the Udo here and then go to the open academy and then go to the sessions menu and then click on the graph view so we can see the state is not selected by default this way you can add multiple uh, parameter and if i go here i can see uh, um, some other fields like duration number of seats and count if i click on the duration this means that how, how much uh, each uh, course the length would be how uh, so and on the basis of number of seats that how much uh, available seats for each of the uh, course if i go to the sessions view and go here and i want to change it to uh, eight to show you the difference between the two courses and then go here go to the uh, graph view and when I click on the number of seats, uh, you will be able to see the change that uh, 8 seats are available for this and 10 seats are available for this. So this way you can uh, uh, analyze the data. And uh, this is by default uh, attendees count because we have added this field uh, here is attendee count type measures. If we add here some other field, then it will be measured uh, by default by that field which we add there on the, uh, in the exam. So uh, this is it for this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe it and also like this video and uh, please uh, share this video with all of your friends. Thank you.